You've heard of veteran Reds players, but have you ever heard about some of the Reds who are veterans? Well, here's the 40s, the war years. Cincinnati Reds historian Greg Rhodes is the human search engine when it comes to the team and its players, even when it comes to their service to our country. The most decorated Red who ever was in the service was an outfielder named Lloyd Merriman who uh, served both in Korea and Vietnam. Johnny Vandermeer wore the uniform too as part of the greatest generation. He lost at least one if not a couple of years of service time uh, during World War II. Second baseman Tommy Helms military service came during an unexpected time of the baseball season. And one summer in 1967 uh, Tommy was called up in the middle uh, at the All-Star break which you would think okay that's a that's good because we were going to not play for those few days anyway so that's great. Well then it turned out he made the All-Star team that year and so while he was at reserve duty, he got a furlough to go play in the 1967 All-Star Game. And of course, everyone knows of the Big Red Machine. But did you know that the hit king, Pete Rose, and the little general, Johnny Bench, also donned the uniform, seen here in this undated photo, appearing to unload furniture from an army truck. And as Greg describes it, Pete Rose's first major league award came without much fanfare. After the 1963 season, his rookie season, he was stationed at Fort Knox for a period of time. And it was during that time that he was down there that he learned that he had won the Rookie of the Year award. And Pete said, I had nothing to celebrate. I was mopping floors. He said, I had no bubbly on hand. I just could throw a few more suds on the floor. That was about it. Baseball is America. And during World War II, the MLB limited teams travel during gas rationing. And did they have to give up anything else for the rationing or anything like that? Uh, foul balls. All the, the fans were supposed to return any foul balls so that they could donate them to service for service players, for teams in the service, for guys playing on service teams or whatever, for recreational purposes. So if you got a foul ball, no, you didn't get to keep it a souvenir. You turn it back over to the club. I love that. While never deployed for war, both Bench and Rose took part in entertaining the troops. You're 23, good looking, and your hitting and throwing has made you a lot of bread. How come you're not married? I can run, too. Bench with Bob Hope during a Christmas trip, and Pete Rose traveled with Joe DiMaggio and others to Vietnam to help raise spirits there. That put Pete closer to action than almost any other major leaguer got during the Vietnam era. Uh, Greg Rhodes also says that during World War II, the Reds played a handful of early morning games around 10 a.m. to try and appeal really to some of those who were working third shift, all in support of the war effort.